All right, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhak Radash. I want to say double honor to the apostles of GMS who rule well and teach well. And Shalom to all you brothers and sisters that's out there doing this work in all honesty and sincerity. <clears throat> Today, I want to go over heaviness of the heart, all right? Um, first off, I'm going to start with uh, <clears throat> Psalms 37 and 5. Commit thy way unto the Lord, Yahweh. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So whatever that you are going through, um, <clears throat> physically or mentally, all right, you need to commit it to the Lord, all right? Commit your ways to the Lord, all right? <clears throat> Not if you're doing anything wicked, but if you know your heart is, um, you know, heavy. Let me see what scripture I want to get. Right here, let's, let's start with this one. All right, so... If you commit your way to the Lord, you know, all things that you do, you do it for Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Um, all the good things, you know, <clears throat> the things that are beneficial to the body of Hamashiach. Um, growing, uh, teaching the brothers, putting the word out, doing lessons, going to camp. Even if you're sitting on the sides, just listening, conversating with the brothers, getting edified. <clears throat> And learning more about Hamashiach and his son, I mean, and his father, Salaki. <clears throat> All right, so commit thy ways unto the Lord. All right, commit yourself to the Lord. I just explained some ways to do that. All right, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So whatever it is that you ask for, while you're in your, your mind of being in heaviness, all right? <clears throat> heaviness in, uh, in the heart of a man, of man, make it to stoop. All right, so it makes it, it makes it makes it um makes it uh go down, you know, stoop. Look at what they mean by that word stoop. All right, before we do that, but a good word maketh it glad. So let's look up what stoop means and heaviness. <clears throat> All right, heaviness, anxiety, anxious care, care. All right, Strong's definition. Let's get the word. Strong's H, 1674. Daaga. 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 All right. That's heaviness. All right. Fear, care, carefulness, sorrow, anxiety. <clears throat> right here. All right. That's the King James translation count. All right. Here's the Strong's definition. Careful, carefulness, fear, heaviness, or sorrow. All right. Fear, dread, <clears throat> anxious care. All right, if we if we commit our ways to the Lord, all right, commit our mind to the Lord, do the things that He needs us to do. He'll take away that that heaviness and that <clears throat> um, anxious care. All right, that fear, that sorrow. We can't uh, walk around with a doubtful mind. Uh, and be double-minded. <clears throat> All right, we got to fully commit to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, or Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? And Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is his uh, only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, <clears throat> which is uh, <clears throat> not the real Lord that's going to come down here and save his hopeful elect, or save his elect, all right? And destroy the rest of the world. Let me see. <clears throat> All right, for heaviness cometh death, and heaviness of the heart breaketh strength. Same thing right here with um, <clears throat> Psalms twelve and uh, twenty-five. Heaviness of the heart make it make it to stoop. All right, I forgot to get that definition for stoop. Let's see. See what the word is. Strong's H seventy eight twelve. Shacha. 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 To bow down. To depress. <clears throat> to bow down oneself. All right. For false god. It's what most people are doing nowadays. Well, that's what. <laughs> All people are doing <clears throat> nowadays, except for those that got the hundred percent truth and lean on Yahweh while Yahweh shy. All right. 
and it's depressed is is a form of being you know depressed mentally or physically all right um <clears throat> fall down all right all right so for heaviness of the heart come death so if you worry around if you run around here stressed out fear and um, what what's gonna happen to you tomorrow how you gonna fix tomorrow all right uh, can't worry about that because that brings death and the heaviness of the heart breaks strength so if you like I said if you worry if you run around anxious and um <clears throat> worried all right you're gonna lose your strength all right so we can't do that all right number 20 take heaviness to the heart take no heaviness to the heart drive it away and remember the last end so any heaviness you got you need to just go on and pray to the lord all right give it to give it to him all right cast your burden to the lord and he'll take care of it all right that's the same thing with committing thy way to the lord all right Commit thy way unto the Lord. So <clears throat> cast your burdens upon the Lord and he'll take care of them. All right. So you don't have to worry. And remember the last end. The last end is is what? Is salvation. Okay. It's getting on those cherries and um getting that crown of life according to <clears throat> second edges. All right, we all wanna be on that mountain. Right here in Second Edges, uh chapter two. Verse, um, let's see, where should I start? Yeah, 42. I saw, I, Edris, Edris, saw upon the Mount Zion a great number whom I could not number. And all these praise the Lord with song. We praise Yahweh Shai. All right. <clears throat> and in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. Upon every one of their heads, he said, crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. All right, that's the that's the last end. That's what we want right there. That's salvation. Okay, so whatever heaviness is in your heart, of course, cast your burden to the Lord. All right, and drive it away. All right, drive it away. That's how you drive it away by casting it to the Lord right here. Um, <clears throat> second address fourteen of uh, fourteen. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away. The burdens of man that means put put behind you the things that's worrying you you know um <clears throat> what's some things that worry brothers nowadays um to see how how maybe they're gonna feed their family if they don't have a a job um how they're gonna pay their bills if they don't have a job um <clears throat> how they gonna get back and forth to work you know all those things that uh <clears throat> worry us or cause us to worry um, we need to put them, put them off, you know, being scared of what's to come. We shouldn't be scared of what's to come because our power, Yahweh Shai, he's bringing that, you know. Um, he's bringing that power that's going to uh, <clears throat> destroy the earth. All right, but if you believe wholeheartedly in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, all right, and his father, they're going to save you, all right. It's called faith, all right. <clears throat> so you got to let go from the immortal thoughts, all right. Just put them away. Just be like, Satan, I ain't got time for you. All right, just leave me alone, man. I ain't got time for you. And go back to thinking of um, heavenly things. I had wrote down a list in my little black notebook so uh, during the day I could concentrate on those <clears throat> instead of um, worrying about things that's irrelevant, you know. <clears throat> you, that's a little tidbit for people. Y'all should try that. Um, let me finish that scripture. It says, put off now the weak nature. The weak nature is fear, man. Anxiety, heaviness, um, <clears throat> Things, worrying about things you can't control, worrying about, you know, the future if you can't see it, you know, worrying about uh, how you're going to uh, make it the next day if you don't have no money, you know, things like that. We don't worry about money, you know, but <clears throat> we shouldn't worry about money. We don't because those things are uh, wor wor worldly and uh, <clears throat> the Lord is going to provide for you. You know, you just got to be patient and wait on him. All right. Again, it goes back to committing our way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. And he shall bring it to pass. So whatever it is that, that you trusting in the Lord for, it should be for everything. All right. He's gonna he's gonna bring it to pass, but you gotta commit your ways unto him. All right. Uh second address fourteen and fifteen, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. All right, so set aside the heavy thoughts, man. 
and flee from the times that we in. All right. So we live in Babylon, of course, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, try your best to um, follow law, statutes, commandments, keep the high holy days. Um, don't celebrate these pagan holidays. There's Fourth of July coming up. Remember, um, during Fourth of July in 1776, we were still picking cotton, so we weren't free from nothing. So it's not our independence, you know. Our independence is gonna come from Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. All right, <clears throat> just keep that in mind, brothers and sisters. All right. So while your while your family members is out there celebrating a pagan holiday. You should be in the crib, uh, rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, reading scriptures, keeping your mind on the Lord, um, edifying yourself, all right, <clears throat> fleeing away from those, uh, these Babylonian customs, okay, all right, <clears throat> so back to the scripture, I'm sorry, uh, set and set aside, uh, the mortal thoughts that are most, the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, all right, same thing, it, it reverts back to up here, flee from mortal thoughts, all right. Cast away the burdens of man. All right, so just whatever is whatever is heavy to you, man, um, in your mind, just go pray, man. All right, pray. Right here, First Thessalonians 5 and 17, all right? Pray without ceasing, all right? Whatever it is that you do, you got going on, all right? You need to pray without ceasing. Because the people is always about to die. All right, cast, cast your burdens to the Lord, man. <clears throat> pray without ceasing right here, all right? If you cast your burdens to the Lord, man, you'll be all right, man, all right? Um, <clears throat> All right, uh, Psalm 61, that's a good uh, <clears throat> psalm to read. It says, uh, lead me to the rock that is higher than I, all right? If you're out there praying and you're going to the rock that's higher than you, that's your Howard Shai, man. All right, that's you leave, leaving your burdens with the Lord, okay? Psalm 61, that's a good one to read. Uh, Psalms 3 and 4, those are some uh, good psalms for evening and, and morning, Salakia. Psalms 4 and 5, all right, Psalms 4 is a is an evening prayer for deliverance, and Psalms 5 is a morning prayer for deliverance, all right, I suggest that uh, brothers and sisters read those. I was just looking at my Bible, brother and sister. Give me a second. All right, Psalms 11, it says, uh, I put my trust in the Lord. All right, the Lord put I my trust. All right, so that's what we got to do. We got to put our trust in the Lord. All right, he's going to deliver us from any and everything, all the heaviness. All right. Uh, all the heaviness that's on our heart, all the, all the heaviness that's um, going through, that we're going through in our in our mind, in our lives, you know, just put our trust in the Lord, and uh, He's gonna do it. All right, see right here, and the Lord put I my trust. That's what we gonna, that's what we have to do. That's what we need to do to escape um, Babylon. Mm -hmm. All right, to escape the things that's um, heavy upon us and heavy to us. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Again, uh, just, you know, whatever worries and fears that you got, all right, cast them upon the Lord, okay? Um, and uh, everything's going to be all right. You trust in the Lord, you have a child, Mashiach, all right? He's going to guide you, all right? Let him guide you, and uh, don't worry. Be be happy, you know? Be happy that uh, you're a Hebrew Israelite. Be happy and thankful that you're a Hebrew Israelite. Be happy and thankful that... Uh, you were taught the truth um, and that you know the truth and uh, be happy and thankful that you're going to be soon delivered here. Um, just make sure that we keep eyes on the times, you know, always watching the news. Um, 
having the brothers uh, keep you up to date on what's going on when you go to camp, you know. Um, if you're not watching the news, if you're not able to watch the news, but everybody got smartphones nowadays, and uh, cable and the news is everywhere. Uh, so, you know, just be mindful of those things, all right? Because <laughs> there, there's uh, protests everywhere going on. There was protests in um, Hong Kong. There was protests in uh, Israel today uh, because the police shot um, some, I guess, the Ethiopian team. All right. <clears throat> so just keep your eyes out on the times. All right, brothers and sisters. Um, with that, I want to say, um, and I want to say double honors to the apostles of, of GMS who rule well and teach well. And shout out well to all you brothers and sisters that's out there. Um, <clears throat> doing this work in all honesty and sincerity and also I want to say a ball the ball.